Hey, 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 YouTube. This is Mary once again. I thought I'd make a quick video. I just sitting here thinking like I always do. Trying to, trying to uh, think positive thoughts regardless of what's happening. I, um, I don't know, yesterday was kind of a, uh, one of them, one, just one of them days, and I did some cooking, and I was in a kind of foul mood when I was cooking, and someone said, don't you dare make that food with that kind of attitude, and I said, ooh, that's right, because it, it's not nourished for anybody, nourishing for anybody has to eat it, so I went in and washed my face and just kind of rinsed what it was happening in my mind it's really my mind doing some things negative things people doing things and i'm taking it the wrong way i'm not gonna say they doing evil stuff i'm gonna say i took it the wrong way that way i won't have to blame nobody for my feelings but anyway i cleansed in my mind and fixed the meal and it was you know a real good meal and everybody enjoyed it so i said i'm gonna start doing that I just make sure that I keep a uh, positive spirit in my mind. And I know sometimes we can't do that, but I have to remember Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, that's a hell of a place to be, isn't it? The secret place. He that dwelleth in the secret place. And... I, I, I've been studying that scripture for a long time, but I used to have, I don't know, just people that I knew and that I knew, and they just thought that they could get what they wanted from me, sexual, whatever. And I would always hold my ground, and I said, you can't go to my secret place. You just can't do that. You're not invited, so you don't want to be there either. And they kind of looked funny, like, ooh, what, what's she talking about? And they never bothered me again with that kind of stuff. But um, I've got a little information. I'm going to not not predict things, but I'm just going to start telling what's on my mind. And I don't want to be the person that says, well, God told me this and Spirit says this. I'll, I'll say what my mind showed me and that, you know, people take a leave it. But... I was sitting looking at my mail-in voter registration. I mailed it in the other day, but as I signed my name and put my driver's license and even put the stamp on it, I just sat there and I thought, I said, you know, we probably won't even have an election on the particular day. This, the election might come in 2025 because everything is going just different you know the weather patterns and people are just devastated from their homes and it's it's just and it's it's just begun we i mean another hurricane is coming now so it's close and don't be surprised if the election uh drags over till next year because so many people will not be able to vote and it's okay it's okay because this man-made election that we're having, it's not set in the universe. The universe, it, the sun does what it's supposed to do and rises and, and the moon, all the phases, it, it does and it's exact. But these these things that we invent, they, they subject to change. So just be prepared for the change because the things we think are important, <laughs> a lot of times they're not. But anyway, this this old lady is going to stop and um, just dropping by and leaving little words with you, okay? To think, all right? I'll talk to you next time. Bye.